Welcome back everyone to a crucial update on the future of your finances and for that matter the nation. Today we are diving deep into a potential game changer and that is a bipartisan deal that could bring back, wait for it, the child tax credit. Do you remember the child tax credit? A COVID era policy and implementation that helped so many people. It once significantly lowered po child poverty rates for that matter. But of course, there's always a twist, and the fact is the stakes are higher than ever. So you're going to stay tuned to find out how this deal could reshape the economic landscape. So let's get started and dive right in. Two years after the expiration of the expanded enhanced child tax credit, federal lawmakers are on the brink of a historic decision. In fact, the leaders of the tax writing committees are working on a deal that may reinstate some version, some iteration of the child tax credit. Unfortunately, the road ahead is not so smooth. But folks, imagine this, a 50 to $80 billion tax deal on the table, but with so many other pressing matters. But will this deal be approved in time? Because the clock is ticking and the fate of this crucial financial lifeline is hanging in the balance. Also hanging in the balance is that like button. Make sure you smash the like button before it disappears. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. I would appreciate that. This helps me, the YouTube channel, the algorithm, and our community. So give this video a like. Thank you so much. The fact is, folks, is that Democrats have floated the idea of reviving the child tax credit. We've heard talks of it. That was originally expanded in 2021. And this potential deal could be a multi-year agreement. But will it survive the political chaos of our current legislative period? Especially, it is an election year, and we don't know exactly who's so focused on getting deals done for the American people, and rather, so many candidates, and the president for that matter, are in campaign mode. The child tax credit, a historic bipartisan priority, has a fascinating history. You look back to the 2017 Tax Cuts and Jobs Act to the pandemic era expansion in 2021. It's been a lifeline for so many families. The big question now is what would this potential deal look like? Is it going to look anything like the COVID era child tax credit or is it going to be much different? Well, negotiations are underway and both parties have their priorities and their wish lists, right? They have things that they want to see in the bill and things they don't want to see in the bill. So Democrats are pushing for full refundability, while Republicans, on the other hand, emphasize the need for a balanced approach. But can they bridge this chasm, this divide, and find common ground and meet somewhere in the middle? The suspense is absolutely real, but what is at stake? So the child tax credit, if reinstated, could be a lifeline for millions of families. And we've seen its impact before during COVID, significantly reducing child poverty rates. Will this deal be the answer to our economic landscape and challenges today, right? So many families dealing with inflation and higher costs. Senators from both sides are expressing their views, like Democrats such as Ron Wyden, aim for fairness, emphasizing the reduction of child poverty, whereas Republicans insist on reasonable asks, wary of going back to pandemic spending levels that ultimately spiraled us into the inflation in the first place and higher interest rates. But here's that million dollar question. How much will this cost? And can Congress ultimately stomach it? Well, the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget estimates a hefty $830 billion over the next 10 years. Will the fiscal conservatives embrace the potential benefits or raise concerns. You let us know down below in the comment section, do you think Republicans would ever go for such a hefty price tag? But let's break down the numbers more in depth. So the child tax credit has historically been a great deal for families, right? The 2021 expansion, part of the ARP or American Rescue Plan Act, made significant strides in reducing child poverty and helping so many millions of households. However, with the expiration, we saw a concerning spike in child poverty rates. So behind every statistic, there is a family that was impacted, and we've seen the transformative effect of the child tax credit. We saw infinite stories of struggling parents able to provide essentials for their children. We saw that in great numbers during its peak and expansion. And the potential reinstatement brings hope for many families facing financial challenges during this inflationary economy. Well, the clock is ticking and the pressure is on. And if this deal goes through, it could be a victory for both parties. But also you gotta think, 
does one party want to hand the other party a victory, right? Because if it happens under the Biden admin, they'll say, look at what Biden did for us. But in the complex world of politics, nothing is certain. That's what we know right now. So stay tuned for updates as we might witness history unfold before our very eyes and the complexities of the American political landscape are underway. So with that being said, folks, what are your thoughts on the child tax credit? Do you think we should bring it back? Do you think it was only a COVID ever thing and we shouldn't be focusing on that right now? Do you think it would help people? Do you think we should be spending that kind of money, especially after the trillion spent in stimulus? You listen to them in the comment section. I'm curious to hear. Let's know your thoughts and opinions. We're going to keep our eyes peeled. We're on the edge of our seats to see if a potential deal could be struck between both parties. And I think a lot of people are rooting for it. So we're going to see what happens, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go ahead and smash the like button. Appreciate that. Get the word out. Spread this video on social media so that way everyone knows what is going on. And if you want to get some more updates and be notified, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as that bell. Ring that bell. That will notify you every time we do post a brand new video. As always, if you want to get some free stocks all on me, all free, go ahead and use the brokerage link down below to Robinhood and you'll get some free stocks when you sign up using my link. And also, if you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, use the social links down below. With that being said, folks, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until next time.